I'm going to solve a radical equation. A radical equation contains a radical. Pretty self-explanatory. So this one contains a cube root. And notice the x is stuck inside of the cube root. So there are two main steps you want to think about. First, you want to isolate the radical, no matter what type of radical it is. You want to get it by itself. In other words, move everything around it to the other side. And then you want to get rid of the radical. And then from there, you're able to solve for x. So if I want to get the radical by itself, I just need to subtract 1. And now we need to get rid of it. So if you know anything about the square root, it is the opposite of raising something to the second power. Square root and squaring something are opposites. So I don't know how much practice you have with it, but if you try to get rid of an exponent of 2, you would take the square root. If you are trying to get rid of a square root, you would square it. Same thing here, but with a cube root, the opposite of that would be cubing it. So to get rid of this radical, I'm going to raise both sides to the third power. What happens is the cube root and the cube cancel each other out, so I'm left with whatever's inside, which in this case is just 3x minus 4. And then cube whatever was on the right-hand side, so 2 to the third power is 8. And I trust that you can solve for x here, so if you want to pause the video for a second, go ahead and solve for x. When I solved for x, I got 4.